Hey everybody, thanks for popping by. Last week on the show, we made this big fluffy star pillow and I am absolutely in love with it. And a lot of you guys got talking about how much fun big fluffy star shaped and other shaped pillows are to use as decor or to give as gifts. So that got me thinking about some of the other cute little patterns we've made here on the show and how they might look if we upsize them. In this video, and we'll put the link in the description box down below in case you missed it, I also mentioned how you could make the little mini version of this pillow if you just wanted to make a little accent. So I talked about yarn and hook sizes and how they differ, but it's still the same pattern. A little while ago, we made this sweet little heart accent pillow. I love hearts too. In fact, we mentioned this in our 12 beautiful baby shower gifts video we did a little while ago. And this one makes a nice gift for a new mom. It's cute in the nursery. It's also a soft and simple little toy pillow to play with once the baby gets a bit bigger. But for those of us who just love hearts in general, I wondered what it would look like if we upsized it to a big fluffy heart shaped pillow instead. So I took the same pattern, and we'll put the link to this tutorial in the description box down below as well, as well as our website. This is a free pattern, a free written pattern over on our website. So you can go to our website and find the pattern workshop page, scroll down, you'll see all the free patterns that we have there, print it off, and you can make some notes on how to make a big fluffy version of this heart-shaped pillow. <laughs> I made one because I love hearts and I felt that to go along with my star, I should have a heart too. <laughs> so today I'm gonna to take you over to the craft table. I'm gonna show you the materials and the hook I used and just some of what I went through with the assembly of this big heart-shaped pillow. And you guys can grab the free pattern or the tutorial and make a big fluffy heart-shaped pillow version along with me if you like. So let's head on over there right now and I'll show you how I did this. From this to this. <laughs> To make my big fluffy heart pillow, I'm using super bulky size 6 yarn. This is Bernay Baby Blanket. It's thick and it's a little stretchy. It's very soft. You need about 200 grams. Uh, you need some stuffing. I'm using chopped up t-shirt for mine, but you can use polyester fiber fill. You need a pair of scissors, a heavy duty yarn needle with a large eye to fit that big thread. You need a large hook. I'm using a 10 millimeter or a US 15. And you also need our tutorial for the mini pillow pattern. You're gonna follow the same pattern, but use this material and this hook. And you need to make two of these heart sides. And once you've got that, we can put the whole thing together. Once you've got both your heart sides done, you want to flip one upside down. And you can tell that this is the right side because the little single crochet border, you can see the V stitches part of your single crochet border, so that's the right side. And the wrong side, you can see the little bumpy bits running along the edge. So flip one upside down. Make sure one has a long tail left on it so that you can sew the two together. So you put your two sides, wrong sides together. So once the right sides are facing out, thread up that long tail <laughs> with your yarn needle. And then make sure your edges are all lined up. And this is something you're probably going to pause and look at as you go around. But you want to start by making sure that your edges are nice and lined up. And wherever your little tie came out of, your yarn tail, you can start right there, go through the entire stitch on the other side, and then the stitch right opposite. So this one where your, your tail is coming out of. And that first stitch is a long one. There you go. Make sure everything's still lined up as you go. And just work through pairs of stitches. One stitch on each side of your heart. And sew up your seam all the way around. You want to get all... Oh, if you start on one side, you want to get all the way up to the other edge and leave the top part open because then we're going to start to stuff it. While you're sewing around, keep pausing to make sure that your edges line up. And if you find that you've got one extra stitch or one less stitch uh, around your edges, because sometimes that happens no matter how well we count, you can just use one stitch twice, like you can sew through one stitch two times, sort of make up the difference, or you can skip one. It's okay because this seam is going to be uh, pretty tight. All of your stitches are 
fairly close together, so you don't have to worry about any real gaps showing. But you do want to make sure that your two sides get sewn together nice and evenly. Once you've sewn around about three quarters of your heart, you can pause and you can start stuffing it. So start by grabbing little bits of stuffing. If you're using the t-shirt uh, material like I am, just make sure it's nice and loose and then start down at the bottom of the heart and pack the tip of it and just keep adding little bits of stuffing pack it firmly but not don't, don't overstuff it because you don't want your stuffing regardless of what stuffing you're using to come through your little spaces like you don't want to actually see it so don't overstuff your pillow and just gradually work away at it until you get almost all the way up to here and then you can finish sewing over one half of your heart and stuff it the inside of the other half and then stuff and sew as you finish up the last little bit. So take your time, make sure it's evenly distributed and I'll see you in a little while. Once you're all sewn up and all stuffed up, <laughs> you can make a little knot with your um, yarn somewhere right around where you just finished your last stitch. And because if you're using this really, really grabby baby Bernay, Bernay baby blanket yarn, it's really grabby. So one little knot will be just enough. And then you can weave in your tail. But before you do that, take a look at the middle of your heart. And if you've got a couple of little gaping holes, you might want to take your yarn and run your needle all the way through, maybe you have to do it a couple times, come out halfway, try not to pull out all your stuffing. And then keep going, so back down to the same hole, and try to work your yarn all the way down to those little areas. And once you're close to it, you can start to weave your yarn across the stitches that run across that little opening. So weave your, your needle through some of the tops of some of the stitches leading up to that opening. And then right over top of that opening through a few more stitches. And just Pull it ever so gently taunt, just to kind of close up that hole. And then you can kind of double back on some of those stitches and go through them. And you are literally weaving, so don't pull tightly. Just back and forth through some of those middle stitches and then hop over and do the other side of your heart. So don't pull tight. Make sure those little holes are closed. And then you can do the same thing on the other side, across the other hole. And I'm just grabbing any piece of a stitch here. So any, any bit of a stitch, um, and then back through some of the same stitches that I've used. And I'm not pulling tightly, I'm just gently weaving back and forth across some stitches, just to close up any of those little spaces that I have lying around there. And because we're just using the same big, thick, fluffy yarn, it's not going to show at all, as you can see. And once you've done that a few times, you can just weave it back and forth to kind of finish off any little um, worries that it might want to undo itself, and then just bury the rest of it in the heart pillow itself. And that's it. And there you go, a big fluffy heart shaped pillow to add to your big fluffy pillow collection. <laughs> so now you can have a star and a heart. And that's it. I thought you guys might like to see what the big heart looked like and we will see you again really soon here on the show. In fact, we'll see you Friday. So until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and bye for now.